2010 was an extraordinary year for the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. As chairman of the board of directors of the foundation, I'm proud to see how our investments created effective solutions for one of the biggest environmental disasters the country's ever faced. We were the first on the ground with projects to help wildlife at risk. During phase one of our Gulf response, we worked with our partners to create nearly 500,000 additional acres of habitat for birds migrating through the Gulf. We also helped to relocate more than 25,000 endangered sea turtle eggs. The spill is gone from the headlines now, but our work goes on. In phase two of our response, the foundation will support additional projects for birds, turtles, and marine mammals, all of which have been affected in the Gulf. That's one chapter of this year's story, but our investments continue in communities across the country. The stories in this year's annual report reflect our commitment to finding the best environmental solutions for our planet. For example, in New York City, we helped to fund the installation of the city's largest municipal green roof. In Southern California, we are working with alternative energy developers to protect the fragile desert around solar projects. Last year, the foundation funded 417 projects, leveraging $60 million in federal and non-federal funds for a total investment of $179 million. That's one of the hallmarks of the foundation, leveraging the value of our contributions by a margin of three to one. This creates greater impact on the front lines. With support of our partners and friends, we're making the investments with impact that will benefit wildlife and their habitats for generations to come.